Grade 7 math number 3.4a, multiplying rational numbers with different signs. When we multiply rational numbers with different signs, we use the same rules as multiplying integers with different signs. If they're like signs, the answer is going to be positive, and if they're unlike, the answer will be negative. And if you're still confused, I'd advise you to go back to video number 2.1a. We're on 3.4a. That's just a couple of chapters ago to cover multiplying integers, just to give you a refresher. And you, then you can come back and watch this one. Or you could try following along and see if you get it, okay? We've got a positive 4 that we're multiplying by a negative half. Well, when we multiply a whole number with a fraction, we turn the whole number into an improper fraction by putting a bar and a 1 underneath it, okay? So now we can just multiply straight across, can't we? 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. We can simplify it. 4 twos, 4 halves means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, see? And each of these represent a 1, so we know we have a 1 and a 1, so it's 2. And it, they have unlike signs, so the answer is going to be negative. Now, another way we could have done this is because 2 is a factor of 4, right? It's a divisor. We could have said 1, 2 goes into 4 2 times, and 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. That gives us 2 over 1 which is 2. See? This is a quicker way to do less reducing and simplifying at the end of a math equation. When you can cancel out like this because you see some factors, it helps, okay? You don't have to simplify as much. You can try that if you remember that from last year. All right, so now we've got a negative 5.25 times 3. We multiply their absolute values the absolute value of negative 5.25 is just a 5.25. That's how far away it is from 0. And the absolute value of 3 is 3. That's how far away it is from 0. And we just multiply them, just like a regular multiplication problem. And 5.25 has two decimal hops in its equation, doesn't it? So we're going to put two decimal hops into our product. So we have 15.75 as our answer. Now, is it negative or positive? Well, the original equation had a negative and a positive, so because they're unlike, it's going to be a negative 15.75. Now I got something that's going to help you remember all this negative and positive stuff. Like is positive, unlike is negative, okay? When someone likes us online, it's a positive reaction. It's a good thing. If you like my videos, you're going to give me a thumbs up, right? That's positive. When someone unlikes us online, it's a negative reaction. If you're on Facebook or something and someone unlikes you, that means they don't want to be your friend anymore. That's negative, right? So like is positive and unlike is negative, okay? Maybe that'll help you remember it, especially if you're on Facebook and Twitter and stuff a lot. Like is positive, unlike is negative. So remember, multiplication is just repeated addition. If we have 3 times a negative 4.1, so Here's a, ratio, a rational number in decimal form times a positive whole number here. All it means is negative 4.1 plus negative 4.1 plus negative 4.1. 1 and 1 and 1 is 3. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. And because the signs are different, we have a negative sign. It, they're unlike. And the product will be the sum of negative numbers. See? So we have a negative 12.3. I want to show you something, and we've done this before last year. Let's say we've got a number line, except it's standing up. Instead of laying down, it's standing up, okay? Here's the zero, and you can kind of imagine it if I turn my camera sideways. Here's the zero, all right? And we can skip count by three, three, six, nine, twelve. We can skip count by three in the negatives, negative three, negative six, negative nine, negative twelve. Well, if you look at this, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times a positive 1 is a positive 3. Positive 3 times positive 2 is a positive 6. But look what happens when we multiply by negatives. See, the numbers are going 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in order. So 3 times a negative 1 is going to jump us to a negative 3. 3 times a negative 2 is going to jump us to the negative 6. See? So up here is a like. And down here is unlike. These are like positive signs. These are unlike a positive 3 and a negative 2. See? So we can see the signs change as we skip count by 3s. So here's our number line laying down like we're used to seeing it. And you can see this would be 1, 2, 
See, and then we're at 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So as we skip count, we can see, jumping by 3s, how multiplying a positive number to a negative 1 is putting us in the negative. And when we multiply two positives, it puts us in the positive. See? All right, we're going to go on to 34 point B. And we're on, still on the same topic of multiplying rational numbers. And I hope to see you there, and I hope this was helpful. Try to remember the like and unlike. That might really help you, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.